This key concept video looks at applying geometry formulas to geometry questions, which appear in about every one or two IB Math Studies exam papers. Now, in these type of questions, you'll be presented with a shape. So here are a few examples of shapes that you will see. And then the key here is to be friends with these formulas, understand them, be comfortable using them. These are the ones that are in your formula book. And I'm yet to see a shape presented in an IB Math Studies paper that cannot be solved using these 10 or so formulas. So my recommendation is to be very comfortable with these letters here. So R for radius, H for height, L for slant height on a cone, etc., etc., and just get very comfortable practicing these. So the first uh, few are all about surface area. So this would be, say, the area around this cylinder. And then the bottoms are all involving volume. So the actual volume of this cone, for example. So I won't go through all of them. My, just, my recommendation is to be very comfortable using these, know where this paper is, have them handy. And then whenever you see a shape, the key is to, okay, let's find the dimensions. So for example, on this cylinder here, the question will try to trick you by presenting a diameter of 0.4. However, if we wanted to find the volume of a cylinder, we actually need the radius. So look at the formula that you're interested in, find the shape, so cylinder, we need the radius and the height. Well, we don't have the radius here, we only have the diameter. The radius is 0.2, half the diameter, but we do have the height and now we can just apply the formula using our calculator. So that's my recommendation. See the shape, identify the dimensions, go to the formula book, choose the relevant one, enter them in, uh, write them out, enter the calculator, and then you shouldn't have any troubles from there. So I recommend jumping across to the question bank section now, going to the geometry subtopic and practicing plenty of these questions.